This is one of the most crucial elections in the history of independent India. Why do I say that? Because in the last five years, the Modi government at the center has sought to destroy the entire foundation of the Republic of India, the secular democratic Republic of India as laid down by our constitution. On every fundamental pillar of our constitution, this government, Modi government, has attacked that and weakened and undermined. From the parliament, to the judiciary, to the CBI, to the RBI, to the CBC, every institution has been sought to be utilized for their political ends and for their political purpose. They are destroying the Republic of India, Secular Democratic Republic of India, as laid on by our constitution, and the time has come to protect our constitution, protect India today, save India today, in order to change India for the better tomorrow. That is what is the task today. They are in the process trying to further the RSS agenda of converting the secular democratic republic of India into what the RSS defines as the rapidly intolerant fascistic Hindu Rashtra, as they call it, they want to transform India into that. That is what we have to defend our constitution and protect our India. That is one primary task which defines the importance of this election. They are destroying secularism, which is the foundation, one of the fundamental features of our constitution. You have seen the private armies that have grown all over the country under the patronage of the RSS and BJP. They attack the, uh, the Muslims, the Dalits, attack them, murder them on basis of allegations of having you know, an illegal, illegal as they call it, slaughter of the cows. Every state in India or most states have laws for cow protection. If anybody violates, let the law take its course. Where and who are these private armies that the RSS BJP has set up that are destroying, that are destroying the social fabric and the unity of our country? In the name of moral policing, these private armies are telling our children what they can wear, what sort of clothes they can wear, what food they can eat, whom they should befriend, with whom they can have social contact, that the RSS will decide. Now this way, they are completely disrupting social harmony. In Kerala, the media reported that one of the BJP candidates or somebody of the leader has said that if BJP is elected, they will provide you quality beef. Here they say they'll provide you quality beef. In the Northeast, they say they'll provide you quality beef. In Goa, they say they'll provide quality beef. But in the rest of the country, on the name of allegation of saying there is beef in their house, people are being murdered. So this is the manner in which they are destroying the unity of our social unity of our people. And Kerala, the prime example in the country, 
You are the prime example, the people of Kerala, who said whether it is Hindu, Muslim, Christian, or whether it is followers of, of anybody else, I mean, Sri Narayan Guru, or, or any other particular section, whatever it is, your choice is independent of each individual. That will be protected by law and the harmony you have maintained. Continuation of this Modi government means even Kerala society will be adversely affected. So it is time that we have to remove this Modi government from office and bring into office an alternate secular government at the center. On the other hand, these five years have seen the worst assault on people's livelihood. Today, our kisans, our peasantry is reeling under a distress and the number of peasant suicides has been increasing under the Modi rule of the last five years. The peasants who produce food to feed all of us, if they are forced to commit suicide, you can imagine the crisis in the economy and in the country. The present suicides are continuing to grow. Our youth, who is looking for a better future, they are the majority. Youth are the majority of Indian people today. They are wander wandering aimlessly because the job opportunities or employment has declined to the worst, worst levels in the last 48 years. For 48 years, India did not record so much of unemployment as we are recording today. And unitedly, we will fight terrorism. We have defeated in the past. We will do it again. But what is the Prime Minister doing and the BJP President doing? That they are fighting terrorism and the opposition is not. A total lie. Absolutely untruths are being spread by this. But then people are seeing through this game. This is only a reflection of the desperation of Narendra Modi that he is losing this election. <laughs> so he said he is now the Kavalkar uh, uh, of not only on land, not only in air, but also in outer space. Are your Chaukidar, what is the job of the Chaukidar? Let me tell you a short story in my uh, mother tongue, Telugu. He, our uh, friend is a chowkidar in the small factory. Every day morning when the factory is open, the chowkidar will go with a hot cup of tea to the owner, give him a hot cup of tea when the owner comes, and tell him stories of what all he dreamt when he slept in the night. So the owner used to be very amused by the stories. He used to give the chowkidar some tips. One day, the Chaukidar came and told him a very funny story, saying, this is what I dreamt last night. So the owner was very happy. He gives him 5,000 rupees as bonus. But after giving him that 5,000 rupee bonus, the owner says, you are dismissed from your job. So Chaukidar says, what is this? One hand, you give me bonus. And on the other hand, you are dismissing me from my job. He said, I have given you bonus for the stories you tell me. For all the dreams that you see in the night. I am dismissing you because you are the watchman. Your job is to stay awake and guard the premises during the night and not sleep and tell stories in the morning. So therefore you are dismissed from your job. So he dismisses them. Like in the story, the owner dismisses the Chaukidar because he is not doing his job. Our Prime Minister is also like that. Every day he comes and tells us a new story. He coins a new slogan. Digital India, Made in India, Sign Up India, Walk in India. I mean, all sorts of slogans every day you will get. Every day he tells us a story, a story. But he does not do the job of what he claims he is doing without the Chaukidar. So like in the story, when the owner of that Chaukidar factory dismissed the Chaukidar, the Indian people are the owners of the Indian Prime Minister. It is now our duty in these elections to dismiss this Shaukidar who sleeps at night and only tells the stories in the morning and that is the real Shaukidar that, that our Prime Minister is. So all this is a complete, complete hoax that everybody is uniting against Modi because he is so powerful. Then secondly they say who is your alternative? 
Are, who is my alternative? In India, it's a parliamentary democracy, not a presidential party. The same question was asked in 2004. Who is the alternative to Atal Bihari Vajpayee? You do not have the alternative. Therefore, people will, not, will reject you. What happened in the result? You sent 18 NDF members to the parliament from Kerala. And when the UPA government was formed, Dr. Manmohan Singh became the Prime Minister and after Jawaharlal Nehru, he was the longest Prime Minister of 10 years continuously. Nobody else had 10 years, not even Indira Gandhi that Manmohan Singh gave. So that means, the alternative will come, post-election that will happen and a secular government will be established. This is what happened in 1996. The United Front was formed after elections and Dev Gowda became the Prime Minister. 98, NDA was formed after elections and Vajpayee became the Prime Minister. 2004, UPA was formed after election and Dr. Manmohan Singh became the Prime Minister. 2019, the alternative formation will be formed. There will be an alternative government and an alternative Prime Minister. And that is the pattern that takes place in India. So that is the change that we all have to. Then we should remember, the same thing was said in our mythological story. One story, remember Mahabharata. Mahabharata, what did the Kaurava say? Kaurava said, we are hundred brothers. The Pandavas are only five. So how can the Pandavas defeat us? This is what Kaurava said. This is what Amit Shah and uh, your uh, Narendra Modi are saying. So the Kaurava said that in, in the Mahabharata, and you know what happened in the Mahabharata finally. But if they, they call themselves as Kauravas, remember, you tell me, I don't know out of the hundred Kaurava brothers, I remember only two names. I don't know if anyone of you know more, more names of the brothers. I only remember Duryodhan and Dushasana. I don't know the name of the third of the brothers of the hundred. Like in the BJP today, of all the world's largest party, you only remember, like Duryodhan, Dushasana and Mahabharata, you only remember Narendra Modi, Amit Shah. That is the BJP. That is the BJP today. Now, in that, the Panchapandavas, they finally win the Mahabharata. And what happens in, after the war? The entire Kuru Vansh. the entire Vansh of Kurus, that gets vanquished. That is the political Mahabharata going on today. And in that political Mahabharata, if they think they are the largest party like the Kauravas, we say we are the Panji Pandava, which, which, which for us signifies what? The five fingers in our fist. When that comes up into the large salam which our comrades give, that is the force that is going to defeat the BJP. That is the force that is going to save India today so that we can create a better India tomorrow. And that is what? I am appealing to the people of Kerala to rise this, to this occasion and better your mandate you gave in 2004, this time from 80 out of 18 out of 20 to now 20 out of 20. Comrade Singh Dwakaran, your MLA, transparently, and a very veteran, respected leader of the Communist Party of India, a member of the National National Theater. I mean, he, from, our, from your constituency, I am sure this time, you will be sending him to the parliament in Delhi with a very big majority and with that confidence and giving you Lal Salaam in advance. PIM is very clear. Our priority in these elections is to defeat this uh, Modi-led BJP NDA government and to ensure an alternative secular government with the increased strength of the population. This is our, our priorities are clear, to defeat the BJP.